Yeah, Victor, I, I'm disappointed that they didn't get this deal done. I think Leon, po- uh, Leon Rose was playing poker with Danny Ainge. And in the end, uh, Leon went bust. I think that he didn't make his best offer. Uh, and he was waiting and waiting. And by the time he was ready to make his best offer, Danny Ainge had moved on to Cleveland. Once Cleveland was willing to give three unprotected first round picks, the Knicks were essentially out of the ball game and they couldn't sneak back in. And Leon couldn't make what I believe was a better offer than he had made previously. So I think Leon thought he was bidding against himself. Danny had told him he had a couple of other teams involved. I don't think the Knicks thought the other teams were as serious. So I think Leon misplayed his hand. And now the Knicks, unless Donovan Mitchell in two years wants out of Ohio, I think that uh, it's it's a disappointing end result for the Knicks. It's complicated. Uh, Spider-Man 4, don't come to the Knicks. That's the bottom line. <laughs> you can make all the excuses you want. I know fans were, some were happy, some were upset. The fans think it's wise that they kept their draft picks But Tom Thibodeau doesn't even like their draft. Tom Thibodeau is not a big uh, proponent of the draft. He thinks it's very risky. And as a result, they essentially sacrificed the 11th pick in the draft for Jalen Brunson. They traded the 11th Mm -hmm. pick in order to clear enough cap space to sign Jalen. So that's how much the Knicks care about the draft. 